What's good YouTube, it's your boy Cardi, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best method to level up fast. I'm going to be showing you how to get an XP token immediately, just doing nothing. You're going to have an infinite amount of XP tokens, so you never have to play single rep again. I'm going to be telling you the best method so you get level 40 the fastest way possible, okay? I got y'all boys. Make sure you drop a like right now. Subscribe if you're new. We're on the road to 30k. I appreciate y'all boys so much. Turn on those post notifications if you have not already, so you never miss a stream or upload. I just posted the new best drip moves in NBA 2K22 season seven so now i'm posting how to level up fast i'm gonna be putting your boys on trying to help y'all get to these mascots if you are a new sub make sure you drop a like on this video right now make sure you comment that you're a new sub and i will say thank you i respond to all my comments i try to just don't say anything too crazy you know if you comment mike wing is obese ronnie 2k gets no hoes i will respond to that because it's a w comment but if you respond if you say something crazy i'm just not gonna respond you know what i'm saying so but say something say something show some love and i'll respond to you all right i got you. now let's get right into this video i'm gonna be telling you the badges that you need to know the best builds everything to be able to level up fast in this year's game i got y'all boys let's go first thing i want to talk about is your build and your settings okay your settings you want to make sure to go to your settings this is just something i go over every single video make sure your settings you have pro stick function on default pro stick orientation absolute shot meter off vibration on all that stuff okay now for the badge that you're going to want to use okay if you are the big and i'll show you the badges later now if you're the point guard if you're going to be throwing lobs you want to have playmaking in your build the best way is to have the pie chart where you have a little bit of playmaking you want to have playmaking in your build if you're going to be throwing the lobs if you're going to be catching the lobs you want to have a little bit of finishing in your build if you don't have that then it's kind of you don't really get as much rep so the, to maximize your rep you can still do this but you want to make sure to be able to maximize your rep you have playmaking in your build and you have finishing in your build if you're going to be catching it now the badge you're going to want to put on is special delivery okay so now i run bullet pass or special delivery whenever i am grinding rep so increases alley-oop throw success and shot chance for receivers after a flashy pass so you flashy passes give you good rep lobs give you the best rep okay lobs give you the best reps so you want to go uh, special delivery now if you're a Finisher, you want to go with Lob City Finisher on Hall of Fame. Um, you always want to have Lob City Finisher on Hall of Fame. Now, as you can see, my teammate is right here. I'm going to show you his badges that he uses when he rep grinds. These are the badges that he uses, okay? So he uses... Um, see, he doesn't have Lob City Finisher Hall of Fame. If I was him, if you know, if he's gonna be doing this all day grinding rep, which he's not on Xbox, it's just I'm just showing you what to do. I'm just showing you how to do it in-game. But if he was going to be doing that, then he's going to be running Lob City Finisher Hall of Fame. Then these are the other badges that he runs. So if you have finishing in your build, that's what you want to focus on is Lob City Finisher. And then these other badges that will help you finish, you know, and that's it. Now, okay, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to go straight into the gameplay. At the end of the video, I will show you exactly how to get the tokens. I will show you exactly how to just stack tokens and stack tokens. So you want to watch the video all the way through. Now, let's get right into the part of the video where I show you how to do this, okay? All right, now that we're in a game, man, if you have the right badges on, as you can see, we're not playing people. We're playing people that are, like, on the same similar builds. They are 98 overall and a 99 overall. So, these people are not bad. They're already level 9, level 8. So, they've been playing all morning. So, we're going to do our best to show you exactly how to do this, okay? But, of course, first, you have to get a stop on defense. So, I'm not going to make y'all sit here and wait for me to get a stop because this guy, I don't know if he's on a post score or what he's doing. All right, so we got to stop already. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We get the ball, and as you can see, I'm gonna just run a simple pick and roll, and then I'm gonna go straight for a lob every time. Cause some most people are not gonna expect that off rip. They're not. People will adjust. People will see that you are literally trying to rep grind on them, and then they will adjust. But before they adjust, you want to get as many lobs as you can. As you can see, special delivery just popped up. So now, if he was passing, I'll be showing you the lob play. But right now, I have a chance to score. I have a chance to get open. As you can see, sometimes you gotta take the open shot, just let it fly, just so they won't be sitting in the paint like that guy. He was sitting in the paint. He sat there and he was sitting in the paint. All right, so now we're running the live play. When he's passing the ball and you want to try to cut the guy off, okay, that just didn't work. That just didn't work, but it still works somehow. With special delivery, it still works somehow. He passed it too early. Now, when he, when the other guy's passing in, when the guy that's dunking is passing in, you want to run up behind this guy, try to block him off as best you can. See, he's not waiting on me, but I'm still throwing it anyway. I don't know why I threw that. You know, I'm just trying to show you what to do. Oh my God. Now we have to cut to when we get a stop. All right. I'm sorry. We have to cut to when we get a stop. Hopefully he misses. All right. I'm going to cut to when we get a stop. All right. We got another stop. Finally, I messed up before, but now, oh my goodness. Now we're good. All right. Now we're good. So hit it with the curry slide. I think he's there. He's open. He's got the lane. As you can see, you just got to wait until you see that he's good. The center is going to sit down. When you're spamming lobs, if you're playing a team that's just has any type of brain, they're going to sit on the lob. They're going to wait on the lob because they're going to be expecting it. He doesn't think I can shoot, so that's when you have to start shooting the ball. Because, like, this guy right now, he has no idea that I can shoot. He thinks I'm just, like, a bum and I'm just rep farming on his ass. 
right now you have to be able to shoot oh my goodness i don't know why he just did that got another stop all right so now i'm gonna probably start shooting the ball a little bit more showing you that you just sometimes you have to shoot the ball you just have to you know they're gonna leave you open they're not gonna help that center is sitting in the paint so right now i don't have the opportunity to get lobs because if i force lobs you force turnovers so that's not what you want to do you don't want to force because bad things happen when you start to force you don't want to start to force anything as you can see i'm open and I shoot that and I green it. That's what you have to do. You have to take your open shots because the more you shoot, if you're on a shooting and a playmaking build, you will get better. You will get better um, stats if you're shooting and doing that. I just got to try to seal them off, but it just didn't work. So I'm open again. I just pull up. I thought I missed, but now I have take. Okay, so now he has to come up. So when you have take, you, or if you're making your shots, the center has no choice. If he doesn't come up, then he just doesn't come up. You just shoot that thing. But if he does, then he does. And then you have wide open lob. As you can see, he's coming up. He's coming up. As you can see, I have a lob. And I did, it didn't work. I don't know what just happened. It did not work. I don't know why. So I'm going to try to get another stop. Hopefully, I get another stop. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, boys. It is what it is. You know, we lost. Okay. I was trying to force lobs. You know, I hit. I leveled up. But I was sitting out here trying to force lobs. I'm just trying to show you the method. Okay. If I really wanted to win that game, I would have won that game. I wouldn't have missed a shot. I wouldn't have turned the ball over because I was forcing the lob. I was trying to show you. Now, I'm going to do another gameplay just to show you again what to do. But that is basically it. That's really what you do. You just try to spam lobs. I didn't really get to show you the lob play. I didn't really get to show you the method you can spam whenever you are the one that is receiving the ball that's not passing the ball in. I didn't really get to show you that. I'm going to do better at showing you that next next gameplay. But that's really it. So as you can see, we got 9,000. Okay, I would have got a win bonus. But as you can see, you got alley-oop assist. You want attack assist and alley-oop assist. I only got four. So you're going to be wanting to get like six a game. And you want to get some attack assist as well to get as much rep as possible. And then you have the double XP, which you're going to be getting at the end of this video. I will be showing you, okay? All right, so now we're getting into the second game. Okay, so this game, I'm going to be trying to show you more how to do the lob play, how to spam the lob play, because that is very effective, especially if you're playing somebody that's sitting on the lobs. You can run the lob play on them, and then you can they have no they have they can't do anything they can't stop it they can't sit in the paint so if you're on the lob play on them you seal that big guy off you seal him away from you all right we gotta stop all right so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna shoot if i'm open and i'm gonna take the lob if it's there so what you want to do is like i said run the pick and roll if the center comes up he comes up as you can see i had space you know he didn't come up but i still saw that he had him on his hip if the defender is behind the big, you normally can get a lob off every single time, especially if you're playing with a finishing build. It gets a little harder when you're not playing with a finishing build, but if you are playing with a finishing build, then it becomes a lot easier. So now I'm just going to sit here and just try to get open. Like I was open right there. I just didn't shoot it. Now I'm going to shoot it when I get up here. But yeah, you just want to take your open shots, man, and then just spam the lobs. You want to get as many attack assists. So this is how you get attack assists. So right now, this is a lob play. You get up behind them. You seal them off. As you can see, I've, I've kind of sealed them. It didn't really work right there, but that's the idea. You want to seal them off. Um, oh my goodness. I think I just messed that up. Holy shit. Oh, we got it right back. We got it right back. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. All right. Like I said, run the pick and roll. Run the pick and roll. If it's not there, it's not there. You can just hit your... All right, so that right there is still fine. You know, attack assist is still fine. I ran into the paint. That's an attack assist. Running into the paint, passing it, and then shooting. That's still an attack assist, so that still works. You know, you want to get attack assist, flashy passes, stuff like that. Now, here's the lob play. You get up behind this guy when the other guy's passing in. Seal him off, like hold LT, and then you have a clear lob every single time. That right there was perfectly executed, perfectly executed lob play. Do that every single time. Every single time you can. As you see, we're going to do it again. We'll do it again literally every single time you can you know it wasn't really there that time but i mean i still got a pass i still got an assist it wasn't there i didn't do a good job at sealing them off sometimes it's hard but if you're playing bots like this these are pretty much bots i know they have a 10 points but they're just not that good i'm be honest they're just not then you got another assist so you just want to keep stack if you have playmaking in your build stack up your assist stack up your attack assist if you want to be doing he has dry he has finishing um take now so it should be a lot easier to get a lob off especially so i'm just gonna run this pick and roll it's not open it's not open i don't see it being open um i pass it i'm passing it i want him to cut i don't know if he's gonna cut i don't know if he's gonna cut i don't know if he's gonna cut set the block set the block i got the lob there you go so the guy, all you have to do if you want to spam lobs is have the guy sit at the block um or set you a screen and then just wait to the guy to come up you eventually if you run left or right run left or right until you got a wide open mid-range or a lob it can work almost every single time um, I don't know what he's doing right now. I don't have any communication with him, so it's kind of hard. So I want him to sit block again, but I'm just going to pass it to him because that's still an attack assist. And that still works. As you see, I have seven assists. I might not get as many lobs this game, but I'm still getting attack assists. I'm still getting assists. I'm still doing what I'm supposed to be doing for my build. 
and that's that's the good part okay so as you can see right now you know he's here he's going in for a lob and i got him okay that's on me i should have thrown it earlier but i don't have communication with him so it's a lot harder play with somebody you have communication with because it's just you know it's hard to do when i don't have communication it's hard to do when i when we don't know the timing when i'm not like cut i'm throwing it i'm not like cut i'm about to throw it you know what i mean i'm just like we're just trying to play off each other's mind and just guess all right so i ended the game just to get this game over with i had 6.7 assists two turnovers the turnovers can hurt you but the win bonus and everything else will help the win bonus the attack assist the lobs all that will help so as you can see I leveled up again you know the first levels are very easy but if you're doing this i should be like at level five level six if i had the tokens activated which i don't really have the tokens i don't really care to rep grind but if you care to rep grind just watch i'm done with the lob tutorial as you can see we got ten thousand. okay so if you had double you'll be getting twenty thousand a game so i got teammate grade bonus win bonus which is 1200 we got four attack assists only three alley-oop you want to be getting like seven six seven alley-oop and six seven attack assists if you can get that every single time you will get way more rep way more rep than what i just got right there but still you know i'm to level four i might be almost to level five yeah i'm 50 percent to level five and that's just all you have to do that's really it now i'm going to show you exactly what to do to get the tokens and then that'll be the end of the video all right so now to do the token thing you want to go on a new build okay so i'm just going to make a build and just immediately skip right into it so i'm just going to make this build that i made in my last video edit build i'm going to just go straight into it as you can see so i built a two-way playmaker yes sir now i'm going to start my career and you just want to it doesn't matter you're not going to play on this but I mean, you are going to play on it but you're not so like i said just rebirth it if you want to see how to rebirth i have a video on that as well two videos on that actually um now you just keep going into here pick a team whatever you got to do just pick a team it doesn't matter you're not going to be playing on this build you can literally make whatever build you want i'd make a 7-3 and then play with somebody a guard that plays the game now you want to go to the neighborhood so you go to the neighborhood and then the first thing you want to do this is how you get a token every single time this is literally a free token glitch you do it over and over again i would probably spend like an hour two hours doing this and then once you have like 20 tokens that just stack up then you're good so what you want to do is come over here to heather okay you talk to her welcome aboard i'm heather nice to meet you okay so now you open that and then you want to run away from her because that's not what you want you want to wait and then you want to go to your quests look at your quest journal as you can see we see this get your stripes in all that stuff you see all this you can see you do the quest for tokens all that type of stuff now as you see if i come back over here she should have another thing above her head yep so you're good talk sit now this is what you want to do no stairs for you the elevator will take you so you want to take the elevator to your my court and then this is the little ship tour you want to look for the ship tour deck by deck now i did the ship tour so you want to go over here it says go to the my court so you want to go to the my court it's literally just bow go to your my court and you're gonna go all around that you're gonna all around the cruise ship okay so go to your my court i know most people know how to do this but if you don't it is very good very good to uh do this over and over again so go to the my court and then you should have some guy some girl somewhere here yep heather again talk to her take the elevator to deck 14 and meet me in the game room so now you want to go over here and you want to meet her in the game room so you go to deck 14 and go to the game room all right so once you're in the game room she should just be over here again now she's standing right here and you go talk to her again you talk to her and she says check out the games when you're ready to learn more about the ship meet captain panero at the courts at deck 15. so you want to go over here again go to the elevator all right it's very fun very fun time deck 15 go to the courts okay go to the courts and then you'll see the captain okay i don't have anything to ride on things so i'm just have to run over there oh my goodness this is gonna be a long haul i might have to put on a bmx bike for this i'm not gonna lie uh, if you have equipment you know you could probably put it on and make it a little bit faster but you know i don't really have the hoverboard or the go-kart or anything in this season or this game i had it on next gen but you know i just don't see I me mean, this this season i'll probably hit 40 i'll definitely hit 40 this season because the reward is actually good this time you actually unlock something good so yeah take your equipment all the way down here you want to meet the captain i can't remember okay so it's not this first one this i don't know what this is this is like 2k tv or some shit but it's this guy right here you want to come down to this guy right here and you want to talk to him okay pull up on him talk to him just like that all right so you gotta hop off your thing and the captain's sitting right here looking over to the beautiful scenery just blue and white very good very good game this game is very good talk to him now meet t in the gatorade gym and help you buff up for your games now you're almost done i don't know what that dude's doing in my mic court but it is what it is i don't know why all these people are doing my mic court it's a little glitch they still haven't fixed so yeah, as you can see once this once you have, see this guy with the little uh, uh exclamation point over his head that's when you want to talk to him so now okay facility i right, got that talk to him he's going to talk to you about meet the crew so you should stay and work out but here the captain said you're supposed to meet the engineer next he's near the my team theater in the lobby 
So now you want to run over here. This is what close. This is the fast way to do it. I'm showing you the fast way to do it in the fast elevators to get to the fast method. It's just the fast method to get this done. Come over to the elevator. Now you want to go back to the lobby, and then by the my team thing, there will be another person, and I'm pretty sure that's it. And then all you have to do is play a game. So he's right here. You go talk to him. And now you see visit Heather in the lobby to wrap up your tour, but check out my team theater when you get a chance. You don't have to check it out at all. You actually don't have to check it out at all. I'm not gonna check it out. So fuck you and your my team theater. Now you go over here to finish it up, man. You wrapped it up. Try out pickup game in the red. Come see me one more time to wrap things up and get a free gift, okay? You know, you don't have to do that. You don't have to go try out a thing in the wreck. You do not have to do that. I don't know what she's talking about. I don't even think that's the right thing. So you're going to go to your quest. Um, look over everything again. You know, ship tour. That's a wrap. Meet Heather in the lobby to end the tutorial. So, yeah, you want to come back over here to her, I think. Yeah. Okay, so come back over here to her and do it again. And it says, enjoy your stay. I think we covered a lot, but there's still much more to discover. Enjoy your stay on the ship. Okay, now all you want to do, ship tour, that's a wrap. Clothing. Now, all you want to do is go to your quest. As you can see, gaming experience. It should say the goat walk, creature with T, gaining experience. Play a game. Okay, so right here, play a game of trips or uh, play a game of deuces or trips to earn XP and increase season level. Okay, so this is what you're going to do gaining experience. All you have to do is play a game. You don't have to win, you just have to play it. That's all you have to do is just play one game and you quit out whenever you're done with that game dashboard and come back and you go over here to your tokens and you should have a 30 minute token or a 60 minute token every single time. Pretty sure it's 30 minutes, but you should have a token every single time. Do that over and over. You can delete the build. You can only do it once per build. So you want to make a new build every single time you do this and then that's literally it, bro. That's literally it. You just spam that over and over and over and over again and then you're good and that's it so that is it for the video i hope this video did help you out help you rep grind help you get to level 40 unlock those mascots as fast as possible i love y'all boys it's been your buddy cardi y'all keep grinding god loves you i love you never forget that appreciate y'all comment if you need anything need any help i got you all right it's been your boy cardi and i'm out man peace